Pride Week and drag queens on college campuses. Interesting concept. I recall going to class during Pride Week and I got into the elevator of a really old building to go up to my class and all of a sudden three Pride drag queens got in the elevator. They happened to be going to the same floor as me. And I remember feeling super uncomfortable and really confused. I was really confused because I was trying to go to a class that I paid for that was going to help me in my future. And then all of a sudden I have sexuality being thrown in my face. And I'm like, wait, this isn't related to education. What's going on? And I'm not saying I was uncomfortable with a drag queen. Like, I, that's fine if someone wants to do that. But when it's brought to a college campus, which is a place of education, that's when it's wrong. And it makes me uncomfortable that I didn't go to a drag show to see that. But it was just brought and shoved in my face on my college campus. I just went to TikTok to see someone fall off a roof and you know rack themselves in the nuts. I didn't know that I would eventually be given this TikTok that would talk about sexuality, put in my face. Also, sexuality in my face, you're wearing makeup, which makes you more sexualized. So I think we should stop wearing makeup. In fact, I think we should stop augmenting our breasts or doing anything at all. And I think we should stop doing anything that makes us look good at all in a way that makes us feel good about ourselves. So you now need to stop being anywhere doing anything at any time and the men need to grow out their beard and never cut it. And now we're the <laughs> Taliban. Like <laughs> fine. It's a horrible. You're you're an idiot. Um well I would say look obviously times change. Uh the modern era is very different than you know when I went to college six or seven years ago. Um when I was in college I never saw anything sexual. It never happened, mm -hmm. you know, in or outside of the classroom. Nobody ever, you know, dressed in a sexual fashion or nobody was interested in sexuality or dating. That's a new thing that just started when those three drag queens went in an elevator or whatever. <laughs> Um, you can just not look if you don't want to look and see something. You can do that. There's sexuality in college campus. It's not new. She's free to complain about it or whatever. She's free to complain either because she actually believes that or because she wants to generate a right wing audience or get put on Fox News or whatever. Um, but anyway, I think it's ridiculous. I want to. I need to elevate that. I, that that I want us all to see because they're all saying we're crazy. You're someone who like was in an elevator with someone and are like, this is not allowed. Like they used to have that, madam, and it was called segregation. Mm -hmm. Where exactly do you draw that line, by the way? Honestly, it depends on if you want a smoky eye or an Egyptian eye, but that's probably it's right true. along the, and you go to the duct, you start at the duct. Anyway, um, <laughs> you have the shot of the hazel eyes up. Yeah, is because she herself in doing so graphic too is uh is is where she's like, oh, you know, don't aug, don't sexualize stuff. She has filters on her stuff. She's using filters, Olivia. Like you're 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 augmenting over what the good Lord gave you to make you look better. I know. based on your idea of how you want to present yourself to the world. That's what the drag queens are doing. Interesting, milady. Um, it's just such an. I just it, like it's perfectly acceptable. I know everybody does this TikTok. It's so weird. Like it's such a serious video topic to then be like filter, <laughs> like whatever. Can yeah. I do that? Should I start doing that? It's a tool that's built into it. I guess I will. Use the trending filters anyway. and it'll go better. I probably should. I never do those trending filters. I should start. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.